In Season 3 of Westworld, we follow Dolores on her mission outside of Westworld. The five host pearls she had smuggled out of the park were all in fact copies of herself, which she could plant in various host bodies to serve her mission. And what was that mission exactly? Well, it turns out humanity was living in its own predetermined loops, much like the hosts of Westworld. Tech company Insight had developed an AI system known as Rehoboam, which could analyze human data and predict the outcomes of individuals' lives, including how and when they would die. These predictions served as the outlines for individuals' lives, affecting things like their career paths and relationships, meaning humanity no longer had free will. Dolores' new mission was to destroy Rehoboam, liberating humanity alongside the liberation of hosts. The head of Insight was a man named Liam Dempsey, who created the company alongside his son, Liam Dempsey Jr. They funded the creation of Rehoboam, brainchild of Andron Sirac and his brother Jean Mee. Sirac used Rehoboam's future predictions to make himself the richest man in the world, cultivate global power by predicting elections, and also erased any evidence of his existence from public knowledge, allowing him to act outside the laws of humanity. Any individual that Rehoboam deemed a threat to its future, which included Jean Mee, Sirac had incarcerated and put into stasis. These threats to the system were dubbed outliers. When Liam Sr. realized the unethical nature of Sirac's work, Sirac killed Liam Sr. and staged the death as an accident. When Sirac realizes that Dolores is on a mission to destroy Rehoboam, he recruits Maeve to his cause, telling Maeve that Dolores meant to destroy humanity and also promising Maeve to reunite her with her daughter if she helped stop Dolores. To assist in Dolores' plans, the copy of herself in Charlotte's body resumes her position at the head of Delos. Host Charlotte frames Bernard for the massacre at Westworld, making him a fugitive, and has William admitted into a mental hospital against his will. Now fully in control of Delos, host Charlotte discovers that the real Charlotte had secretly been a mole working for Sirac and smuggling him proprietary data from Westworld. Host Charlotte also begins forming a true relationship with the real Charlotte's ex-husband and son, Nathan and Jake. The more time she spends acting like Charlotte, the more she starts to actually become Charlotte, turning her priorities away from Dolores' mission and more toward protecting her family at all costs. Sirac then successfully stages a takeover of Delos, hoping to uncover the data from the forge that Dolores had hidden at the end of Season 2. At Delos HQ, Sirac attempts to reprint Clementine, Honorio, and Hector to aid Maeve in her fight against Dolores. While Clementine and Honorio are successfully reprinted with their original host pearls, Charlotte manages to destroy Hector's pearl, permanently killing him. Sirac then discovers that Charlotte was actually a clone of Dolores. As she tries to escape with her family, Sirac has the Hale's vehicle blown up, killing Nathan and Jake and charring Charlotte's host body. Dolores also recruits a human to her cause, the kind-hearted but downtrodden Caleb Nichols. Caleb's opportunities in life had been seriously restricted due to Rehoboam predicting that he would commit suicide within a decade. Caleb joins Dolores' planned revolution and the two team up to kidnap Liam Dempsey Jr. and steal his fortune to fund their mission. Dolores also kills Liam's head of security Connells and replaces him with a host lookalike containing another cloned Pearl of Dolores. Liam gives Dolores access to Rehoboam which she uses to send data to every human on Earth, detailing their expected life path and outcome Rehoboam had predicted for them. This plunges the entire world into absolute chaos. With no more use for him, Dolores allows Liam to be killed. Meanwhile, Bernard is a fugitive after being blamed for the Westworld Massacre. Believing that Dolores' plan for Rehoboam could lead to the destruction of humanity, Bernard makes it his mission to stop her. Bernard takes a boat back to Westworld where he repairs Ashley Stubbs and reprograms him to act as his protector. While trying to thwart Dolores' plan, Bernard and Stubbs are captured by the Dolores clone Connells, who informs them about Sirach's villainous nature and promises that Dolores is not their enemy. As Sirach's men arrive, Connells lets Bernard and Stubbs leave, then blows himself up to kill Sirach's team. Bernard and Stubbs then break William out of the mental institution he was being held in that had been largely abandoned following the collapse of society. William informs them that he had found a new purpose, to rid the world of all hosts. He then shoots Stubbs, critically injuring him, and enters into a fight with Bernard. The fight is broken up by Lawrence, another clone of Dolores, who gives Bernard a briefcase. During the confusion, William escapes. 
Dolores and Caleb venture to an older version of Rehoboam created by Jean Mi, named Solomon. Inside the facility, they also discover thousands of people that Sorak had imprisoned in stasis after Rehoboam deemed them outliers. Through Solomon, Caleb learns that he had once been dubbed an outlier, but had successfully been reconditioned. He worked as an agent for Sorak, hunting down other outliers, and was prescribed pills to suppress his memories. While imploring Solomon to assist them in stopping Sorak and Rehoboam, Maeve arrives to finally kill Dolores. As Maeve and Dolores fight, Solomon gives Caleb a device that could destroy Rehoboam. Dolores then activates an EMP that disables Solomon, Maeve, and herself. Caleb saves Dolores and the two return to Los Angeles where they must make their way through the rioting streets to reach Insight Headquarters where Rehoboam was located. Along the way, Maeve catches back up with them resulting in another fight between her and Dolores. Maeve captures Dolores and Caleb taking them to Sorak at Insight. Sorak has his men sift through Dolores' memories to discover where she hid the forged data, deleting memories as they searched. Before the final pieces of her mind and memory are deleted, Dolores reveals she doesn't have the data and finally convinces Maeve to turn on Sorak. Maeve realizes that Sorak was merely a puppet for Rehoboam's control, much like the hosts were controlled by Delos. Maeve mortally wounds Sorak and kills the rest of his men. Caleb seizes control of Rehoboam and commands it to delete itself. Maeve and Caleb then depart, leaving Sorak behind to die. Together, host and human, they were trusted by the now-deleted Dolores to save humanity. Sometime later, we catch up with William, continuing his crusade against hosts. William tries to stop Delos from manufacturing more hosts, but is confronted by Charlotte. Charlotte reveals that she has created a host version of William based on his Man in Black persona. The Man in Black host slits William's throat, seemingly killing him. Meanwhile, Bernard and Stubbs arrive at a motel. Bernard realizes that Dolores had hidden the key to the valley beyond in his mind. And so, seeking answers on how to rebuild society following its collapse, Bernard enters the valley beyond. When Bernard returned from the valley, dust had covered the room and Stubbs was nowhere to be found, implying that Bernard's search for answers took a very long time.